Okay, so um, on Facebook, some people were trying to um, understand what's going on with uh, the use of multiple mid bases, and there was a discussion that showed up on uh, DIY mobile audio as well. Um, it's kind of hard to understand unless you can visualize it, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, so first off, uh, here's an example of the superposition of waves. So basically what this means is that if you have two series of waves, uh, there are going to be frequencies where those waves are in phase, and there's going to be frequencies when the waves are out of phase. Uh, when the waves are in phase, if they are receiving equal power, uh, they're going to become uh, 6 dB louder. And when they're 100% out of phase, they're going to be uh, at zero decibels. So this is something that's kind of interesting about um, the superposition of waves is that, again, when they're in phase, you get a bump of six decibels, but when out of phase, um, you get absolutely nothing. They, they null each other out completely. So, you know, potentially, if you had a system that was playing 100 decibels and the two wave fronts were completely out of phase, you get zero decibels. Uh, if the two wave fronts were in phase, you get 106. So let's look at some. OK, so um, 200 hertz is 67 and a half inches long, or uh, 1.71 meters. Uh, one half of that is 33.75 inches long, or 0.857 meters. And then a quarter wave of that is 16.875 inches long, or 0.43 meters. So um, the reason that this is important is that, like if you look at a mid-base in a car, and you're deciding to do two mid-bases, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, the most obvious way to do it is to stack the mid bases on top of each other vertically. The reason why this isn't necessarily the best option is that um, the fundamental problem that you have in a car is that uh, you get dips and you get peaks, and those dips and peaks are based on the geometry of the car. Uh, so for instance, if you have a mid base that's located in the front door of your car and the mid, the mid base is radiating sound, uh, it's going to reflect off of the front of the car, uh, the, the driver's side of the car, the rear of the car, the roof of the car, the floor of the car. Uh, so you get a series of reflections, and those reflections can be pretty darn strong. Uh, in some cases, the reflections can be as like almost 100% as strong as the original wave. So what that means is that the reflections uh, from the mid-base in your passenger side door, uh, if they're reflecting off a rigid surface, you know, like a, a metal floor or a metal roof or your firewall, uh, it's almost like having a second mid-base, uh, but the second one is delayed in time and it's at a different location. So let that sink in for a second. You know, you think that you got one mid-base in your car, but in reality, it's kind of like you don't. Um, you've got a mid-base, but you've also got a really strong reflection coming off the firewall and a really strong reflection coming off the roof and the floor. Um, these delayed reflections are muddying uh, the location um, of your mid-base. Something that people experience a lot in the car is that you may notice you know, in your car that it's really hard to get a really good, strong, um, dynamic, punchy mid-base. And a lot of that is because you have reflections, which are uh, occurring because of the geometry of the car. So again, going back to these numbers, um, we have the, the actual wave, which is 200 hertz, about 1.7 meters. Uh, we have the quarter wave, which is 0.43 meters. We have the half wave, which is 0.86 meters. Um, the half wave is what we're really concerned about. When the wavelengths are separated by um, a half wavelength, uh, they're going to null each other out. 
and if you look at that half wave that's pretty darn close to the the height of the car uh, 33.75 inches so you can start to see here um, that the the height and the width of the car is creating nulls in your mid-base response but don't believe me let's look at some measurements so um, here's a measurement of cabin gain I think this was done by um, Brian from DIY subwoofers and so in this measurement you see that there's a, a really deep null at about 95 Hertz and also a null at let's see 10 20 30 40 50 about 60 Hertz and so there we go uh, what's going on there is that uh, the geometry of the car is creating peaks and it's creating dips and again this is all going back to quarter wave theory and the uh, the constructive interference that happens when sources are fairly close together but more importantly the destructive inter interference that happens when they're spaced fairly far apart 